Have I ever told you uh, what a huge fan I am of Mega Man X? Because I am a giant fan of Mega Man X. I actually think it's one of the best games ever made. Well, okay. I mean, that might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I say that about Shadow of the Colossus as well. It's probably one of the best platform games I've ever played. It's almost a perfect game. It teaches you, the, it teaches you how to play it so well. It looks awesome still, even though it's a Super Nintendo game. So it's got that timeless style to it for me. It plays so well. It's not one of the harder... It's not a particularly hard Mega Man game. Especially when you know what you're doing. It's pretty easy then. I say that, but I'll probably die. Uh, but it's such a good game. I, uh, I just like Mega Man X. And I love playing it. I played this game... I don't know how many times I've played for this game. Just a, a, a ridiculous amount, honestly. And I love it. And I will never not love it. I, 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 I try and make sure I play this usually at least a month a month. Probably more than once a month. Sometimes I'll just play it a couple times in a week. Just love this game. Just absolutely love I love... When you do well, you just... You feel like... You feel like you're playing just like an you play you feel like you're playing like a complete beast basically. This is the story, by the way. You can, I I've been talking over it, but it's not like it's voiced anyway. This is this is what's happening. All this all the Mega Man games are based in the year something X. Something XX. Was it twenty X or twenty XX? Mega all Mega Man X games are twenty XX. Let's go. I always customize my controls, so uh, <coughs> the R is to dash, Y is to shoot, and B is to jump. Because it's not—it's not actually set to that originally, uh, and I, I, I can't play if it's not like that. This is the one of the only games in my life I ever considered speedrunning and practiced a little bit, bit before. Uh, before I just kind of gave up, and I was like, you know what? I like this game too much to ruin it by speedrunning it because I speedrunning the, the game was starting to make me hate the game. So you had to learn how to do things in a specific way. And if you didn't do it right, you just had to restart the whole thing. It's fair to say it was not um, it was not great. And I couldn't do actually a lot of the tricks I just could not do. Couldn't do them. But anyway, if you do this bit right and you know when they're all going to appear, you can kind of do this whole section without stopping. And it looks really good. I'll do a little speedrun thing here. We well, just kind of get behind it to uh, get that nice, that nice gap between you. I'm gonna go down here and get the health, just to be a bit, just to be safe. I don't really want any health when I get to the last fight because it'll make it go by faster. But yeah, these these fights are generally not too bad. Oh. See, now that's what happens if you um, you don't have enough health. I should have gotten the other tank. That's my bad. Yeah, Bas basically, you don't have to do that. Oh, God. Um, you, you, we're supposed to do a stand away, but if you can kind of like jump inside of it and jump around a bit, and um, you can kind of just kill it a little bit faster. But I probably shouldn't have done that, because I'm... Do you know what? I haven't done it like that in a long time. And it was pretty dumb of me to do it like that. So I'll, I'll just play it safe for the next place. Because I don't want to have to do that again. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You dead? You dead. Yeah, see that? Oh my god, that tapping. Some of the people I've seen play this can tap so fast. So I'm just going to do this the safe way now. I just jump, 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 shoot. So you see, it's faster the other way because you get behind it. In fact, we could actually do the other way now. Now that we have full health, we shouldn't run out of health, so we'll do it that way. There we go. So that's what I was trying to do last time. I could have done it both times, but I... Like I said, not really practice it very well. <laughs> not practice it very well doing it that way. I've mostly memorized where the where these guys pop up from. If you just shoot at the right times, you'll usually take out enemies before they hit you. Uh, 
You can just react. Oh, oh, the car guys. Classic car enemies. Oh, uh, get out of here. Run on cars! As that uh, Ego Raptor video would, would do. The sequelitis video. Yes, I've watched that. Very good video. I agree with pretty much everything he says in that video. I've gained too much health now. It's going to take me a little bit to beat Vile. There's a boss at the end of this where you can only beat him. Um, if I lose it but when you drop down to a certain amount of health, I'm going to take a couple of hits for hits here. Oh, I did the two cycle thing. That's good. So yeah, this guy, you can't beat this guy. You can fight him if you want. You can probably last for quite a while. Like, you, could... you can't just do that forever. But you gotta get him, you gotta get your health down. And then he gets you that. And then he sucks you up. And he grabs onto you and he threatens your life. He calls you a worthless piece of shit. No, he's a scrap metal. And, uh... and then the guy, your main man, everybody's favorite. The Zero Machine comes. With a really cool music. <coughs> and blasts him away. And he's like, hey, get out of here. And then Mega Man's like, man, I really wish I was as cool as you. And then, and then Zero's like, hey. you, you, It's cool, man. You're cool in your own way. <laughs> you may not have luscious flowing locks like me. And a badass beam sword. But you're all, you're cool in your own kind of way, and that way is a way that I'm going to tell you right now in this dialogue that I'm saying to you, and I'm still telling you how you're going to be cool. You may even be as cool as me, but probably not. Man, he's pretty full of himself, right? He's saying like maybe one day you'll be as powerful as me. I haven't read this in a long time. We should just skip through all this. Oh my god, there's more. I don't need to patronize me, dude. Get out of here. So the basics of this game... Oh, this is the code. This is the old-fashioned password code. You put this in to get to this point in the game. This is the, uh... The, uh... The level selector. Always start. We've got Chill Penguin. Uh, uh... Launch Octopus. Armored Armadillo. Oh god, I can't remember their names. You know, considering I've played this so much, you think I'd be a bit uh, better on the name Storm Eagle. There we go. Spark Mandrel, Ch Sting Chameleon, uh, Boomer Kawanga, Flame Mammoth. It is Launch Octopus, yeah. Man, I could not remember Storm Eagle's name then. You can see like where they are on the map, the stage looks like, and their little, their little info. Their height and weight for some reason. Don't really know why. Anyway, you want to go with Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin is always the first one. Well, you're not always, but you want to go to Chill Penguin first because it gets you the dash. And the dash is what makes this game so good. This is why I think this game is better than even Mega Man games. Because there's a dash in it. <laughs> and I think the, the dash is what really makes it. If this game didn't have a dash, it would not be, it would, it would not be anywhere near as good. I, I pressed pause then as I, by accident, when I meant to kill the bunny. Hup. Now the bunny's dead. Oh... The log man thought he could take me, but he could not. Oh god, got myself trapped there. I think we can take out. Oh, okay, never mind. We can take out these guys, so that's fine. Oh, there you go, a nice one up there. Oh, and a little bit of health. Now, there's a couple of wheelie guys that come over here. They just never end. They'll never stop. They'll always keep coming. As long as if you go off screen a certain, certain amount, they'll just appear again. So you can't just keep killing them until they stop. You can kill them and then hope that no more... Like, you can kill them in that screen, but there'll always be more. And they'll come back in greater numbers. There we go. I can, I'm, I'm just trying to remember, like, where they spawn from. In my head. Oh, and this is Professor Light. Now, he's the guy that made you. And uh, he's in love with you. Like, big time. He loves you so much. And he's just explaining his love for you right now. And he's like, hey, you know, I hope that you'd be cool. 
and peaceful. But it looks like... I, I hope that the world would let you be peaceful. But just in case it didn't, I gave you a massive cannon on your arm. And then he's like, and then he's like, yo, I've hidden all these upgrades from you because I want you to work for him. I guess. I don't know. I think maybe he's doing it because he's kind of like a bitter old man. And he doesn't really like, doesn't really like us. All right, I'm ready. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. X. Professor Light, whatever your name is. Right here we go. This is the game changer, baby. Look at them boots. Oh, pimps up my boots. Give me them snow boots. There you go, right there. And that is what makes this game so fun. Is you can just kind of, you can just like dash your way through the whole game. Put the speed of light and run, run along, nice and fast. And I love it. It's just very, it's very satisfying to get like a good. There we go. It's much faster than going down. There's two ways to go there. You you, you kind of want to go up because up is just the, the faster of the two. The down way you have to fight. You have to punch a guy in the face, and nobody wants to be punching guys in the face. Nobody wants to be violent. I always get hit by that. E, there we go. <coughs> and at the end of each of these areas, there's always a guy that wants to kill you. And they're the big bad boss, the Mavericks. In this case, he's a penguin. As you can see. It kind of looks like a penguin, I guess. And his moves are, he's got this little dashy move. He's got this ice move where he puts some ice down. That's a good move, because you, you can just get a couple of good hits off on him there. Oh. You know, what, you know what's going to happen here is I'm going to die. Because whenever I stream this game, I always die a lot more than I would otherwise. I like to get a little bit fancy. I want to shoot him when he gets up there. When he goes up there, he tries to put a blizzard down. And uh, what that blizzard does, it'll like blow all the ice, blow, those ice blocks he puts down, it'll blow them to you. And you can always, you can just shoot him down. When he jump, jumps up to like do the ice thing, you can just shoot him down. He's a, he's an easy guy. And uh, I think really he wants you to beat him. I think maybe he's happy, he's sad that he, about who he is. I, I feel like oh, oh God, I always hit that button on this. I'm playing this on the on the Wii U because it's a lot easier to play this on the Wii U than it is to play on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, I could capture on the Super Nintendo, but uh, that would be more difficult. Also, I'd need a working Super Nintendo. My last one broke. So after you beat that guy, the way I do this is I go in and order. That means I do the least backtracking because you're gonna have to backtrack to a lot of these levels to get uh, items. So I do it in the way that revol involves the least backtracking, and I also don't use enemy weaknesses. Each Maverick has a, a type that's like a move it's weak to that will kill it really fast, and I I just don't use them. I only ever use the weaknesses when I'm in uh, the final level where you have to refight all these bosses again. Then I use the weaknesses because why not? But the first time I they're like the first time I fight them, I like to just kind of do it. Uh, straight up shrimp norms. So anyway, this level changes um, because we've beaten Ice Penguin. Normally this is all lava, but because we beat Icy Penguin, it's all ice. And that is very good. So we're going here first because what we want, um, because of the ice, because we did the ice, we've got an item now that we couldn't, um, we couldn't get before now. So we could, we can only get that item, which is like a health up, because we beat Chill Penguin. There's another item we haven't gotten yet, but we can't get that until we go to uh, Storm Eagle's level. Which is the level we do right after this one, I believe. Yeah, we do this one because we can get two... We can get two of the, uh, two of the upgrades in this level, and we only have to come back for one. And then once we beat this level, we also have to go back to um, the Ice Guy's level. And then get his, um... Yeah, give me that. So go back to the Ice Guys level. And get, uh, and use the fire weapon we gained from the boss of this area. To get an, to get an item that we missed over there. 
So basically, it took me a little a bit of doing to work this out. I know other people have worked this out as well, but this is I did this without looking at the way other people did it. I just kind of sat down and thought, like, what's like what's the most efficient way for me to sort of go through all the levels in this game? It involves the least amount of backtracking. I think this is the way that speedrunners do it. If I I'm not sure about that though. They probably don't. They probably do it differently. Wow, those guys. I either have like a really good time with these guys or a really bad time. That time I had a really bad time. I probably will die. I'm gonna use this just in case. Oh. These are like extra health things that help out big time. We shouldn't die on this guy, but we might. Now if we had Storm Eagle's weapon, we'd be, be able to beat this guy super easy, but we don't. So we're gonna take it easy and take it easy breezy and not try and die. This guy can be pretty dangerous. Uh, he has like a jumping move that if you're touching the floor when he does it, um, he will, it will sort of like make you stumble. Oh, and that fire move is a pain in the ass as well. So you just want to you want to make sure you're like off the floor basically for a lot of this guy. Yeah, that changes the direction of the when he makes that noise, it changes the direction that the the floor the floor escalator is going. Right, you want to be careful with that because I think that sticks you in. Like, it's been a while since I got hit by the splodge, but I'm pretty sure it sticks you in place. See, that's what happens if you get if you let if you let him. Uh, if you let him get you when you're standing down. But, so you can time you can time your jump well enough so that you kinda be in the air when he lands and you you hit the floor just just as the shake ends. So that wasn't too bad either. Flame mammoth destroyed. I don't really know what the practical application of that robot was. I maybe it was to heat up people's uh, ovens. In this world, ovens are heated up by mammoths that shoot fire. Not by Electricity. <laughs> and I chill penguin. Don't really know what his purpose was. Right, I'm gonna go back and get chill peng I'm gonna go chill penguin's level, get his item, and then I guess we'll call it for now. Oh. Oh god. Okay, so now, now now we've got a weapon, a flame mammoth weapon. This is something I didn't use in the other level. Something I'm really bad for doing in this game that would make it probably a lot easier is remembering to use the weapons that I get given by the bosses. It's a bad habit I have that I don't do. I probably should have mentioned that in like the last level. So I have this ice weapon that I got from the ice guy. But yeah, I mostly play this game kind of just like all buster. I know there's more like efficient ways. I've seen really good use of it. If I, if I was like, if I could think a bit faster on my feet, I probably would change it a bit more. I love the fire weapon. It's such a good weapon. Oh, that was close. Obviously, you can see it has disadvantages. It doesn't have like as long a reach. So I gotta be a bit more careful. He says when he's not being careful at all. All right, so now, basically, what this does is it breaks, it breaks those, but, and there's some of those up there, but we can't break them because we can't get it up there. So what we have to do is we have to use that, the fire, to break the igloos, and then we just hit escape. Because once you beat a level, you can escape it, and you get to keep all the stuff you had. <laughs> And uh, there you go. I think that'll do me for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time we'll be doing um, Storm Eagle. Yep, Storm Eagle. And then we have to go back to here to get an item we missed with one of the upgrades we get from Storm Eagle. And then it is on to Boomer Kawanga. And there, yes, so that's what we'll be doing next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'll see. I hope you enjoy this little video. I don't know. I just I was sitting here and I thought, like, you know what? I'm gonna play Mega Man X. I love this game. So I'll see you next time for some more Mega Man X. Bye.